Chairman, I couldn't help but um, pull out my pocket constitution, and I couldn't seem to find anywhere in here where it says we need to fund programs for humanitarian aid for women and, and children in Afghanistan. So with that, I just wanted to point that out, and I yield my time. You're I mean, you're, you're probably not gonna find references to that in the Constitution, both because the Constitution doesn't work like that. And also Afghanistan wouldn't be constituted as a country for 150 years. So there's a couple reasons that you probably didn't find that. And I don't even think you were really reading it. I think you see it as a prop rather than something to actually read, let alone be guided by. But that's not how anything works. Or what? Are, is the game that we're supposed to play now, Brett, that we're supposed to go through a bunch of the stuff that she wants funding for, and we're supposed to point out that that stuff obviously isn't in the Constitution either, and that that's never how the government has ever functioned? And why, in particular, out of all of the things that are spent in the nearly trillion dollar defense budget, of things for her to be frustrated by, the idea that some aid might go to women in Afghanistan who are being brutally repressed right now, that's the thing that she felt she needed to stand up and snarkily joke about. They're so stupid. It is so it's so dumb. Fine. All right, then every if it's if the we can't do it unless it's in the constitution. First of all, the framework for passing the laws like that are in the Constitution. You heard of the Monroe, you know, the Monroe Doctrine. There's a guy who wrote the damn thing who was like, we own this hemisphere. Like that, <laughs> the, the DNA of that is from the founders, like American imperialism built into that model. Um, and then like, fine, then every law needs to be a constitutional amendment. So you need two thirds of, of everyone to vote for it. Okay, but that's what's so, I just wanna meet and talk to the people who think that she nailed it. And this other guy, you know, what's Eli his name? Crane. Eli Crane, the military was never intended to be inclusive. You don't, that's not true. That's that you like what you're saying. You just made that up and said it in a way that sounds like it's been around for a long time, but that's, that's not true. If your reading of the Second Amendment that the militia is a bunch of people out there, that our military is the militia of just random dudes and people out there, then yeah. it was designed to be inclusive. It's just it's so of utterly the people. You know, there is no evidence that inclusivity makes us weaker. You know what makes us weaker? You know what makes recruiting lower? As John said, not paying these people as much as they should be paid. Having you pay them so little that they also rely on other forms of government assistance to get by. Meanwhile, yeah. chucking trillions of dollars at defense contractor CEOs so they can design like, I don't know, a polka dot shrapnel versus like another shrapnel that used to have stripes on it. Yeah. The distinction without a difference military that they keep developing and innovating on for no reason whatsoever. 100%. Um, I thought that I had come up with something clever, by the way. Um, I was gonna be like, oh, like, uh, we have to stop the billions and subsidies to oil companies, but it turns out that is in the Constitution. So, oh well, I guess we'll continue it. Anyway, um, yeah. Also, I just imagine like every one of these people, hardcore Christian. I just imagine like Anna Paulina Luna does her little thing with the Constitution. So I just wanted to point that out. I yield my time, and I just imagine Jesus like slow clapping in back of her. Yeah, screw those <laughs> Afghan women. Come on, oh, I hate these people. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.